the body. If you get into a position that doesn't feel right, then please come out of it. So really paying attention to how the body feels and, and if something doesn't work then and it's not right, then come out. And remember, there's always child's pose at any time. You know, when you take the head to the floor, reaching the arms back. So taking child's pose at any point in the practice that you feel you need to. So arriving on our mats now, taking that Sukhasana or Virasana posture. So arriving, arriving for your practice, coming into the present moment. So letting go of everything that's happened up to now. And beginning to close the eyes down. So beginning to bring the focus and attention inwards. Maybe observe any sounds outside of your space. And then notice the breathing, the sound of the breathing. And the feel and the sensation of the breath. Checking in with your body, stacking the spine nice and long and tall over the pelvis. So checking your shoulders are lined up over the, over the hips. The center of the head, the crown of the head is over the center of the pelvis. So you're not leaning backwards or forwards, you're sitting up super straight. But without any hardening in the body, so you don't want the body to feel stiff. You just want to feel elevated and long and tall. And gently draw the shoulders away from the ears. And just a gentle pull of the shoulder blades towards one another. Just feel the openness across the chest, across the heart center. And then introducing a little bandha, so mula bandha, the pelvic floor, squeeze and lift. On your next breath out, drawing navel to spine. Now placing the hands one on top of the other just to rest comfortably. So drawing attention to the breath. Noticing the breath and feeling the breath. And seeing where you feel the breath strongest. Is it that space between the upper lip the tip of the nose, where the breath draws in through the nostrils? Is it in the back of the throat? If you introduce a little ujjayi sounding breath, can you feel that swirling of the breath in the back of the throat? It's almost like you're fogging up a mirror going, ah, but with the lips closed. So feel the breath energizing, warming, it's been filtered through the nose. And then take your sensation, the feeling of the sensation in the chest, the ribs. Feel the broadening of the rib cage as you breathe in deeply. Feeling the lungs expand with a fresh new breath in. and noticing the change in the belly. So bring your right hand to your belly and now take your left hand to your chest, roughly where your heart center is. This is pranayama. Breath control work. So we're simply noticing the breath. Feeling the breath flowing in and out like a wave. And now just beginning to steady the rhythm of the breath. 
So maybe breathing in for four. Take a little pause at the top of the inhale and then exhale, release for four. Let's do a couple more of those, but in your own time, in your own rhythm. And now drawing your hands together in prayer. Take that to your heart center. Take a nice deep breath in. Could you just do a single on? Deep breath in. Um. Just feel the vibrations of the body. Feel the bright vibration in the throat. And feel your energy vibrate around the body. So just yoking, synchronizing, bringing together in union your body your mind, your spirit, your breath, your consciousness. And then taking this moment to set yourself a positive intention. This can be towards your practice, towards your day, towards your life in general. But make that intention, that resolve really definite and really see that clearly in your inner mind's eye. And then repeating silently to yourself three times in this present moment in the present tense, I am, and fill in your intention. I really see it, really feel it right now. Slowly opening up the eyes and releasing the hands onto the knees. Take yourself off your heels if you're on your heels or remove your blocks, cushions, bolsters, whatever you have to pop you up. Let's begin to synchronize our movements with our breath. So just making sure you have your blocks ready at the tops of your mat for later on, so we have all the equipment we need. But first, coming into balancing table. So taking the hands under the shoulders, the knees under the hips. First of all, you're going to look down with your drishti to that space between the hands. Your middle finger or your pointer finger are facing the top of the mat, spread the fingers wide. Have the thumb a little bit higher up than the little finger shining the inner creases of your elbows forward so you're opening up through the chest and squeezing the shoulder blades towards each other squeeze and lift into your mula bandha uddiyana bandha so pelvic floor engaged abdominals drawn in navel to spine so root the tops of your feet into your mat root the hands firmly into your mat Feel that squeeze and lift of the energy from the hands up into the body. Feel that strong and stable core and a stable trunk. So balancing table. Take a nice breath in. You're going to push into your left hand and your right knee. So taking your weight into opposite hand and knee. You're going to reach one arm forward and one leg back. Steady your breath, steady your pose. Take a big breath in. Exhale, dropping the hand and the knee. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, reaching the other arm, the other foot away. 
Now with the back foot, you can point, point or flex the foot. I like to flex my foot as I feel I can engage my hamstring and my glute. So the hips don't move at all. You're just moving the arm and the leg, one big breath in. Exhale, place it back down. Moving a little bit quicker now, so let's move with the breath. Big breath in, reaching arm and leg away. Exhale, place it down. Reaching away, inhale. Exhale, place it down. One more of each, inhale, reach. Place it down. One more. And then place it down. Now the next thing we're going to do is tiger. So staying in this tabletop position, maybe take the hands just a fraction further forward, just a couple of centimetres. What we're going to do is you're going to bring your right knee in towards your nose. So begin to round the spine like you're doing a, um, a, cat, a cat pose. And then you're going to send your foot up towards the sky, pointing your toes this time up towards the sky. And then you lift your head as if you're doing your cow. So bring that knee into nose, arch the back. So this is a bit like a cat. And then the cow mixed together, but using the leg and we call this tiger. So let's take two more on this side. Inhale. Exhale. Bring that knee to nose. And then lifting the foot up towards the sky, looking up, and then drop the knee down. Let's take it over to the other side. Arching the back. Let's take a big breath in, lift the leg this time. Exhale, draw the knee to nose, arch the back. Inhale, open and lift. Exhale, draw it in. Two more. Big breath in. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Bring it in. Touch the forehead or the nose. And then replace the, the foot down. Tucking the toes. Hopping the knees just for a brief moment. Squeeze and lift into the belly. Push into the hands. Draw those hips back. Draw the belly down onto the thighs. And then start to lift the legs up into Ardha Mukha Pedaling out the legs, just waking up the backs of the legs, the calves, the hamstrings, the ankles. From here, we're going to ripple the chest forwards. So pulling navel to spine, ripple the chest forwards into a plank. Big breath in, then exhale, drive into the hand, draw navel to spine. Downward facing dog. Inhale, ripple the chest forwards, bringing the heart between the hands, looking slightly forwards ahead. Exhale, draw navel to spine, push into the hands, scoop the belly up. Downward facing dog. As you take a downward facing dog, nod the head chin towards the chest, drishti to navel. Inhale, ripple the chest, rolling round through the shoulders, into back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's do two more of those. Inhale, scoop the belly up. Work with the breath and work with the Uriyana Bandha, Mula Bandha. Exhale, draw navel to spine. Downward facing dog. Walk the feet slightly forwards. A little bit more so that you're in a short, shortened version of Adha Mukha Svanasana. And then take the feet a little bit wider than the mat. Push into the hands, draw the armpits towards the knees. And that lengthening in the backs of the legs, drawing the crown of the head down towards the floor. Two more breaths. And then walk the feet together to the centre. And then drawing the feet, walking the feet up to the top. Rooting into the earth. Start to roll yourself up to standing nice and slow. Taking the feet hip distance at the top. 
You're going to take palm tree. So you're going to take your hands behind your head. Open the elbows back. So you're opening the elbows back. Big breath in, reaching. So you've got the hands together, interlaced behind the back of the head. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, draw the hands back behind the head. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, open the chest. Big breath in, reach up. Exhale, bring those hands back down. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, open the elbows. Two more, inhale, reach up. Imagine somebody's putting you up to the sky. Open the chest. Big breath in. Exhale, back, hands back behind the head. Squeeze the shoulder blades, open the chest. And then reaching the arms up to the sky. Keeping them up. Big breath in. And then swaying over to the other side, swaying palm tree. So you're adjusting your hips the opposite direction to the arms. Inhale to center. Exhale, taking the arms over to the other side. So we're taking, making a kind of a, well, it's not a C shape. So inhale, center. Exhale, bring it up. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, bring it up. One more on each side. Just feel like lengthening in the side body. Then, Bring your hands through center. We're going to come into Vrikshasana, tree pose. So taking yourself into the, either the left foot or the right foot, you choose. So choose your standing leg. Really root the foot of the standing leg into the earth, Padabandha. Feel all the toes connected, the big toe mound and the big toe really rooted. Squeeze and lift into the standing leg, fly into the glute. Then take in the other knee, towards your chest, nice and slowly. Find a drishti spot on the floor for your gaze. If you can, draw your nose down to your knee. And then finding a spot for your foot to land. Now this can be the earth with the big toe. It can be the calf, it can be above the, the knee, but do not place the foot on the knee. Remembering this is your practice, there's no ego, there's no competition. So be kind to yourself, no self-criticism. Just working in the present moment with all the tools we have. Remembering you're perfect just as you are, no need to change. Reaching the arms to the sky, growing yourself tall. Squeeze and lift Mula Bandha, Udhyana Bandha. Connect with the breath. Two more, in and out. Grow a little taller, reach those fingertips a little bit higher. And then hands through center. Release the lifted leg down to the earth. Taking the other foot now as your standing leg. Rooting the foot, big toe mound, really earthed into, the, into your mat. Squeeze into the thigh, into the glutes. Then bring in the knee. In towards the chest, dropping the nose down to the knee, choosing the place to place your foot down to the earth, that's okay. And if you wobble, wobbling's also fine. We have wobbly days, we have wobbly sides. Just observe it's happening and be patient with yourself. Big breath in, big breath out. So locking your drishti onto that spot on the floor. Lift and squeeze into your bundles. Drive that big toe mound into the earth. Stable, strong tree, Rikshasana. Two more breaths here. And then bring your hands back to your heart center. And then releasing the foot slowly down to the earth. Come to stand at the top of your mountain, to mountain pose at the top of your mat. Big toes together or feet apart. Reroute those feet, Padabandha, into the earth. Squeeze and lift into the thighs. 
Create that neutral pelvis, so tilting forwards if you need to, just to take the arch out the lower back. Taking your arms away from the body, energizing the arms to the fingertips. Feel the lift from the floor all the way up through the body to the crown of the head and beyond. Growing super tall, strong mountain. Tadasana. Big breath in, Surya Namaskar A, reaching the arms wide, looking up to the thumbs as they reach to the top bird for Hastasana. Swung diving down, softness into the knees. Forward fold. Inhale, half lifting the hands to shins. Gaze forwards, flat back. Plant the hands, step the feet back into plank. Exhale, drop the knees. Squeeze the elbows close, take your knees, chest, chin option. Inhale into that mini cobra. So just lift a little bit if you want. We're taking it a little bit higher into Salambhasana. Then through Bidilasana, tabletop, tuck the toes into Adi Mukhashwanasana. Two breaths here. So remember, drishti to navel, navel to spine. Softness in the elbows, spread the fingers wide, drawing the heels towards the floor. Inhale, bending into the knees, come onto the balls of the feet, look forwards. Exhale, so step to the top of the mat. Breath in for the half lift. Squeeze and lift belly. Exhale, deeply forward fold. Still have a little bend in the legs, root the hands to the earth. Inhale, rooting into the feet, squeezing into the thighs, lifting all the way up to the top. Bird Bahasta, so then look up to your thumbs. Exhale, flowing all the way down into Uttanasana. Plant the hands firmly, drop the head towards the legs. Inhale, half lift, maybe fingertips or hands to shins. Plant the hands, step or jump back into plank. Exhale to lower through Chaturanga, your choice, or sticking with that knees, chest, chin option. Full up a facing dog or salambasana. Exhale, driving the hips back, downward facing dog. Reconnect with the anchor of your breath. So really utilize the breath to help you focus in this moment. Take another deep breath in. Come to the balls, the feet, bend the knees, thighs. Touch the belly, look forwards, exhale, step the jump to the top. Breath in, half lift, squeeze and lift the belly. Exhale into Uttanasana. Root the feet, squeeze the thighs, lifting up with control all the way up to your earth. Stars and the thumbs Let's come together, palms come together, look up. Exhale one more time, swan dive down into Uttanasana. Inhale, Art Uttanasana, hold the breath, plant the hands firmly, step, pull jump back. Exhale to lower your choice, Yogi's choice. Inhale, Arda Mukhashwanasana, exhale, Arda. Mukhashwanasana. Taking a nice deep breath in here, really fill the lungs. Then open the mouth and sigh the breath out. Deep breath in. Sigh the breath out. On the next one, look towards your third eye, so you'll need to cross the eyes and open the mouth, stick the tongue out too. So deep breath in. Lion's breath. So that helps us relieve anything, release anything that doesn't serve us. On your next breath in, onto the balls of feet, bring that belly down to the thighs, look to the top, keep the hips high if you're jumping. So hop, step, jump to the top. Inhale, half lift. Forward fold, exhale. Inhale, sweep the arms wide, look the feet, paranda. Lifting all the way to the top. And as you get to the top, take a little micro back bend. Feel openness through the front body. Send the hips forward, the arms back. Let the hands through center. Samastiti. Arms by your side. Taking a big step back. Into Ashta Chandrasana. So bring that left leg back. Bend in the front leg. Straightening a bit. 
into the back, you're on the ball of the back foot. Inhale, reaching the arms up to the sky. So squeeze the thighs towards each other, squeeze into the glutes, because this is a balance. If you're looking up between the hands, you might feel a little bit wobble, wobble. So making sure those, those legs are firmly engaged. Engaging into the bundles, into the torso. From here, we're going to reach the arms forwards and tilt ourselves forwards as we come into Virabhadrasana 3. So big breath in, start to take the weight forwards and then lifting that back leg up, reaching forwards with the arms. Connect with your breath. Squeeze both thighs. Lifted and standing, push into the standing big toe. One more big breath in. Exhale, lowering the back leg. Stepping the left foot forwards and the back, the right foot back. So coming into Ashtachandrasana Chandrasana with the left foot forwards, right foot back. So bending that left leg, straightening into the right. So you're reaching the ball of that right foot back, but you're on the, the heel, sorry, the heel is driving back, but you're on the ball of the foot. Inhale, reaching up, squeeze into the leg. Look up between your hands. Imagine you lifting your heart up between your hands, looking up. Squeeze the thighs towards each other, squeeze the glutes in towards each other, hips stable. One more big breath in, then we're coming into that warrior three. So starting to bring the hands tilting forwards, then lifting the back leg up, hip height, reaching forwards, with the arms, push into the big toe of the standing foot. Squeeze and lift. Mula Bandha, Uriyana Bandha. Two more breaths. And then bending slightly into the standing leg, drop the back leg down, arms down, standing back together with our feet into our mountain pose. Back to mountain pose, Tadasana. Into our Surya Namaskar B. So we're just going to do a little standing, standing yoga seal in our Utkatasana this time. Deep breath in, we're going to bend the knees, sweeping the hands down to touch the earth, your fingertips touch the earth, and lifting up with arms. Big breath in, look between the hands. Then exhale, keeping the body exactly as it is. Reach your arms back, clasp your hands behind you. Big breath in. And then bringing the chest down towards the thighs, reaching the arms up overhead. Draw the head down towards the knees. Squeeze the legs together. Squeeze everything in. Two more breaths, lift those arms a little bit higher. Then inhale, reaching the arms back up to Utkatasana. Exhale, forward fold, open the legs, Uttanasana. Straighten the legs if you can. Inhale, half lift. Plant the hands, hold the breath as you step or jump back into plank. Exhale, lower. Your choice, Chaturanga or knees gesture. Inhale, for that Salambhasana or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Big breath in, kicking the right leg towards the sky, bending the knee, and then taking some circles with the knee, opening the hip up. Two more. Then stepping the right foot between the hands, stay on the ball of the back foot. One breath in, into Ashtachandrasana. One breath, look up. Framing the front foot, exhale. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, chest lifts. Exhale, drive those hips back. Downward facing dog, then inhale, lifting the left leg to the sky, bend the knee, draw some circles with the knee, opening the hip up. Then taking a big step with that foot between the hands. Send the ball of the back foot, breath in, one breath in. Ashtachandrasana, look up between the hands. Exhale, frame the front foot. 
Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Exhale. Two strong Ujjayi breaths here. On your next breath in, bend into the knees. Bring those thighs towards the belly. Look to the hands. Exhale. Hop, step or jump to the top. Inhale, half lift. Forward fold. Exhale. Inhale into chair. Look between the hands. Follow the hands with your gaze. Then exhale, forward fold. Straight away, going down into Uttanasana. Inhale, half lift. Ardha Uttanasana. Plant the hands. Hold the breath. Step or jump back. Exhale, low. Inhale, lift. Exhale, drive the hips back. Taking a big kick up to the sky with the right leg, then stepping with foot between the hands. Drop the back heel. Warrior one. Vira Vidrasana. One breath. Palms the hands together if you can. Look up. Exhale, front the front foot. Step it back. Inhale. Exhale, lower. Inhale, upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Exhale. Kicking the left leg to the sky, then bringing it between the hands, drop the back heel, breath in, warrior one, one breath, exhale, frame the front foot, inhale, step it back, exhale, lower, inhale, up the facing dog, down the facing dog, exhale, two breaths, drawing your chin to chest, drishti to navel, navel to spine, soften to elbows, don't lock out the joints, the knees or the elbows. On your next breath in, bend into those knees, balls of the feet to the back. Exhale, step or jump to the top. Inhale, half lift. Deeply forward fold over the legs, exhaling. Inhale, into Utkandatasana. Look up between the hands. Then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Flatten the hands, hold the breath, step and jump back, exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, drive the hips back, draw navel to spine. Inhale, right leg to the sky, then stepping it between the hands. Warrior one, one more time. Looking up. Exhale, frame the front foot. Step it back, exhale, lower. Upward facing dog, inhale. Down facing dog, exhale. Inhale, floating the left leg towards the side and stepping it between the hands. Drop the back heel. One breath, warrior one. Exhale, frame the front foot. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, drive the hips back. If at any point you need to take your child's pose, balasana. Remembering this is your practice. Listen to your body. On your next breath in, bend the knees. Thighs come towards the belly, keep the hips high. Look to the top of the mat. Exhale, step towards the top. Inhale, half lift. Forward fold, exhale. Inhale into chair. And then taking the hands behind the back again for that standing here with exhale. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, big breath in. Then exhale, folding over the legs, lifting the arms up towards the sky. Drop the head down towards the legs. So you've got a nice long neck. Deep breath in, releasing the arms, sweep the arms. Touching the earth with the fingertips, coming back into your Utkatasana. Then rising up, inhale, reaching to the sky, Erdvahastasana. Hands through centre, Samasthiti. Coming back to your mountain pose. Just close the eyes for a few moments. Feel the warmth that you've created in your warm, your standing warm up sequences here. The sun salutations really elevate the energy. Just imagine the sun's energy radiating through you, revitalizing you. It's 
Syria Namaskar A and B. Sometimes you do the classical version as well, but they all help to synchronize our breath with our movements and lift, lift the spirit, the consciousness. Just take another two breaths here. So just notice yourself in your body, that introspective practice that we do, a moving meditation, opening up the eyes, taking a nice big step back with the left foot. From here, we're going to take Trikonasana, so lining the front heel up with the back foot. Make sure you have your block ready at the top. One, if you have only one block, then make sure it's in the right-hand corner. So Trikonasana first. So there's a little turn in of the back foot, like a little bit like a 45 degrees, whereas the right foot's facing the absolute front of the mat. Take a nice big breath in, reaching up, then just take your arms parallel to the earth. Then start to reach the right hand as far along as you can. So you're jutting that left hip out, so really giving that a jaunty, um, kick out, then bringing the hand down. Now you can use your block here to put your hand down. Open the chest up, so you've got your left hand on your left hip. Roll that left sh shoulder back, so it's like you're stacking your body between, or placing your body between two planes of glass. Tuck the hips under, squeeze the thighs towards each other. So fully engage the legs, then only open the arms 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock. If it's available to you, look up to your top thumb. Do you not dump down into that right hand? So bring that to your heart center. So feel the lift in your right side body. So imagine you're squeezing the thighs towards each other. One big breath in. Exhale, look down to your front foot, lower the top arm. We're going to come into Ardha Chandrasana, half moon. So your right hand's gonna go onto your block, diagonally away from your right foot. You're gonna bring your weight into your right foot, into your right standing leg. Bring yourself so you open your chest up to the side. Your left leg is now parallel to the floor or a little tiny bit higher, but not much higher than hip height. Open the chest up. Open the arms, 12 o'clock, six o'clock. We're trying to stack the arms over each other. 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, like a trikonasana. Lift the drishti, the gaze up to the top hand. You can flex into the lifted leg foot. Fully really engage that, the quad, the hamstring, the glute. Pulling the toes in towards you, really engages that leg, makes it strong. Big breath in, look down to your front foot. Drop that left leg down with control. Coming back up, look to the front of your mat, step your feet together. Other side, stepping the right foot back. Now I'm going to turn around so I can face you. So your left foot forward, your right foot back. Have your block to the top left corner now of your mat. So first, take a big breath in, bring the arms parallel. Jerk that hip to the, the right hip to the right as you reach the left arm away. So really reach, 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 and then bring the left hand down somewhere with inside the calf, towards the ankle, but open the chest. So bring that right hand onto your right hip, open the chest. So roll that right shoulder back. You know, between those planes of glass, so you need to draw the pelvis under. So open that chest, then looking up to the top hand, 12 o'clock, six o'clock. So you're not dumping down into that left hand, you're lifting as well, so you're not just, it's very easy to just bring the hand to the floor. That is really, really easy, because I'm dumping my weight down. But if I lift, lift the weight energy upwards into my top fingertips, and then bring my hands in my heart center, feel a lift in the side body, it's a lot more energetic. Draw the hips towards each other, thighs towards each other, tuck the bum under. Two more breaths. Deep breath in. Exhale, look down to your front foot, lower the top arm. You bring your weight into that left leg now as you come into your Ardha Chandrasana. So bring the weight into the left leg. 
So we've done a little warrior three so that action is kind of in our muscle memory. Open the chest to the side. Flex into the lifted foot, um, lifted legs foot. Squeeze that glute, activate the glute, hamstring thigh. Super strong legs, look up to your top hand. So you're stacking the arms, shoulders one above the other. Big breath in, big breath out. One more, big breath in, big breath out. Look down to your front foot, lower the top arm and slowly with control, drop the leg down. Coming to stand back at the top of your mat. And gonna take a big step out one more time with the left foot into warrior two. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, we're gonna bend generously into your right leg. Check your feet are wide enough apart so that your front knee does not go over the ankle. Arms parallel to the earth, reach the fingertips away, sinking down into the hips. The body stays upright, not leaning forwards. So completely upright with the torso. Then look to your front middle finger. Soften into the face, neck and jaw. Strong Ujjayi breath, strong warriors. Then into our extended side angle. So the right forearm onto the right thigh, then windmill the left arm overhead. Reach your fingertips as far away from the outer edge of that left foot as you can. Open the chest to the side. So roll that left shoulder back. Hold something precious in that right hand. Then lift your gaze, so your eyes lift. Don't crank the head too much to lift the eyes up towards the top hand. Keep bending into the front leg. Maybe sinking a little bit lower, you want to bring the right hand down to the ankle. So we're moving into Bird of Paradise. So you know where we're going. Then take the arm behind the back, we're going to start our bind from here. We're reaching the right hand underneath the the leg, ooh, clicked into the shoulder, it's lovely. <laughs> so if you have your bind, you're gonna step that left foot forward to join the right, so little steps. You don't have to do it in one go. So left leg is your standing leg. If you didn't bind in the Uttita Pazwakanasana, then take your bind now. So you're reaching the right arm underneath the right leg. And then you're taking the left hand behind your back. If this is not available to you, then use your strap. So clasping hold of the hand behind the back. Start to bring yourself up to standing very slowly. Rooting into that left foot, into the left big toe round. Moving slowly, don't worry if you wobble or hop around. Birds do hop and move. If you want to, you can just stretch your wings. Lengthen that right leg, just for a few breaths. Then bending, slowly coming back down, gracefully, as gracefully as you can, dropping the Right foot down, then step the left foot back. We're back to your extended side angle. Plant the hand down, keep that leg a little straightened out. Step the right foot, left foot forwards, right foot back. I'm going to do around to the other side so I'm not turning my back to you. So, first, we're going to take warrior one on the left side. Line those heels up. So, front heel, back foot in arch. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bend in generously into your front leg. Check the knees not rolling in. Check the knees stacking over the ankle, but not beyond it. So widen the feet if it is. You should be able to see your front big toe reaching hands away. Look to the front little finger. Soften the gaze. Sink a little lower. Then into the extended side angle. Forearm, left forearm to thigh, 
and reaching the arm overhead, open the chest to the side, reaching the diagonal line, 45 degree angle we're creating with the arm and then the right leg. Lift the gaze up to the top hand. Sink a little lower. If you want to stay here, that's fine. If you want to bring the left hand down to the ankle, sink a little deeper into that left hip. Reach, reach, reach away. And then taking our bind. So we're wrapping the right arm behind the back. Start to bring it towards the left thigh just to start. And then taking our bind underneath the arm. Now, if you want to step that right foot to step, the right foot in. So the right foot is going to be our standing leg. If you didn't bind straight away into that Utita Pasvakanasana, extended side angle, then bring your legs hip width apart and start to reach your left arm, hand underneath the left leg, wrap the right arm behind the back, grab hold of your hand and use your strap if you can't reach. Standing leg, right leg. Root that foot, root the toe. Use the breath and use that strong drishti focus. Don't worry if you hop and wobble. And lengthen your wings, open your wings if you can. Point the toe if you can, if you're extending the leg. Two more breaths. And then with grace, as much grace as you can muster, lowering the left foot down to the earth. Stepping the right foot back with control. We're back to our bound Utita Pasvakanasana. Release the bind of the arms. Straighten that front leg and then step the feet together. We're back in our mountain pose. So, Utita has the Padangashtasana. Using a strap if you need it for this. So we've done this before. I'll just quickly demonstrate. Standing leg, left leg. Left hand, left hip. We're going to grab hold of the toe. The piece, fingers and thumb. The right toe. And you're extending that leg forward as you fall down over the leg. So if that's not your option, take a strap. Make a loop around your foot. And take your hands with the strap and lift the leg this way. If you need to use a wall, hold on to a wall. Use your props, use things to help you gain access further into the poses. There was absolutely nothing wrong with having that assistance. So giving yourself lots of self-love, compassion, have a go. So rooting the left foot into the earth, Choosing to either use your strap, if you don't have a strap, then hold on to the calf. So taking five breaths here, making sure you have that Jirishti spot to look at. So we're trying to lower the head down towards the leg. If you can kiss the knee, kiss the knee. Wow. Drop the foot down, over to the other side. So I'm in my right leg, standing leg. Poking my peace fingers around my left big toe. Grab your calf. If you don't have a strap and you can't reach the foot, or use your strap. Extend the left leg. Lift it up. Lower yourself down over the leg. Give the knee a kiss. Then dropping the foot down. Coming into a little dancer's pose. Now this is where I'm going to use my strap, but if you don't have a strap, then we'll do a different variation for you. Very sweaty hands today, excuse me, need to, and feet. I don't know if you, about you, but I'm getting very hot. So I'm going to wipe down my hands and feet. They're very slippery. <laughs> so what I'm going to be doing with my strap is this. I'm going to be looping my strap around my foot. 
The strap goes behind my back. And I'm reaching my arms behind my head. I'm rooting into my left leg. So I have to lean forwards a little bit. And the idea is that you're lifting the foot up towards the head. So using the strap, you can bring that foot up a little bit higher. Okay, so that's where I'm going. If you do not have a strap, and you don't want to take that option, then take your left hand on your left hip just to start. With the left foot, grab hold of the left of the right foot with the right hand. So you're pushing the right foot into the right hand, and then reach forwards and up, and take this option. So pick your choice. If you need to hold on to your wall. <clears throat> Hold on to the wall. So staying here for 10 breaths. So really having to balance here in that standing leg. So the idea of this one is that you are, are quite upright with the body. Ooh. Not leaning forwards too much. I'm finding this very challenging. <laughs> this is one of my things I'm trying to work on. Because not only is it balance, stretching really strongly into that back leg, Just hold it where you can. Three more breaths. And slowly release down. It's very, very challenging because there's a lot happening all at once. So switching sides. So taking the strap onto the other foot. So I started with my weaker leg, which is my standing leg in the left side. So you might find this side different. Just observe how you feel. Each side will give you a different response, maybe. But just take note. So reaching back for that strap if you're using the strap. Or reaching back with the foot and then reaching the right arm forwards. Five more breaths. So feel the openness in the front body. Two more breaths. And then slowly release that strap or the foot. Well done. We've not tried that together before. It's not in my usual practice, so using the strap with the foot behind me like that is a new one for me. So taking new baby steps together into eagle. So choosing your left foot to your right foot, standing leg on going right leg, option foot to cross, hand to heart centre, sink down. Option two, wrapping the leg all the way round, binding the foot behind the back leg, and then taking the opposite bind with the arm. So if the left leg is on top, the left arm is underneath. So eagle arms, standing toe, roots down, super strong. So squeezing the legs together, squeeze and lift into your bundles. Find that drishti spot, lift the arms as high as you can. Two more breaths. And slowly release. Over to the other side, straight away. <clears throat> Foot across. Option one. <clears throat> Option two, wrapping the arms the opposite to the leg. So this time, right arm goes underneath. 
So lifting the hands up as high as you can while sinking into the bending, bending into the standing leg. Just a little bit. Squeeze those thighs towards each other. Squeeze and lift into the belly. Push into the standing big toe. Two more breaths. Lift those arms a little bit higher. And slowly unwrap all that pretzeling arms. <clears throat> Taking a step back from the top of your mat into Parsvottanasana, pyramid pose. So right leg forwards, 45 degree on the left leg. Hips forwards, choosing to clasp opposite elbows or bring the hands together. Open the chest, squeeze the shoulder blades together, nice long neck, big breath in, exhale, hinging forwards over the right leg, drishti to the big toe, squeeze the thighs towards each other now, squeeze and lift, buddhiyana bandha, mula bandha, so driving the right hip back, left hip forwards, roll those shoulders away from the ears, keep the chest open, keep the elbows lifted, so from here, you're going to take revolved triangle. Big breath in, come halfway, release the arms. Using your block if you need to, to place your left hand onto the block. Take your right hand onto your hip. Or take the left hand onto the outside of the right foot. Start to squeeze the thighs towards each other, the inner thighs towards each other. Squeeze the left into the belly. Start to spin the chest, opening the chest to the right. So the more you squeeze into the legs and into your bandhas, the more revolving you can get with the body. And then lifting the right hand, hand up to the sky. Lift your gaze if you can as well. Check in with that breath, nice and strong and steady. Big breath in. Exhale, look down to your front foot. Step the left foot forwards, right foot back. Setting up for your Paswatanasana on the other side. So check those hips, face forwards. 45 degrees on the right foot, left foot facing forwards. Choose your bind of the arms. Reversing your prayer. Open the chest. Big breath in, reaching and lifting. Extend and then folding forward. Checking the action of the hips. Right hip forwards, left hip back. Squeeze the thighs towards each other, lengthen to the neck. So lift those shoulder blades towards each other. Take the shoulders themselves away from the ears. Nice long neck. Drishti to the big toe or down towards the shin. Two more breaths. Nice and steady and even, continuous. Inhale to lift halfway. Release the bind of the arms. Take your hand onto your block. Right hand onto the block, left hand onto the hip. If you're using the block, or take the hand onto the outside of the left foot. Squeeze the thighs now towards each other. Squeeze into the hip, squeeze into the belly. Start to twist, lift to the side. Then opening the arm up, left arm up. Looking up to the top hand if you can. Really squeeze into those legs, nice and strong and stable. One big breath in, exhale, look down to your front foot. Step the feet together. Stepping your left foot back. <clears throat> You've got a few more balances left yet. <laughs> Ashta Chandrasana, just for one breath. So sinking into the right leg, and we're going to reach ourselves forward back into warrior three again. So just fix, see how you feel this time round. And then from here, going to take yourself, going to reach for your right toe with, sorry, your left toe with your right hand or take a strap around it and extend the leg forwards and then reaching the left arm back. So if you have to use your strap, then hook the strap around the foot. So we're going to take that revolved 
standing this way. So you use your strap or use a big toe bind with the piece fingers and thumb. So rooting the right leg strong, big toe into the earth, foot into the earth. Extending the left leg forwards, then reaching the left arm back. If you can, look towards your left hand. Don't look at me wobbling. Two more breaths and switch sides. Well done. So left leg, standing leg. Use your strap. Use your fingers around the toes if that's your option today. So reaching the right arm back. Turn your head to look towards your right hand if you can. Two breaths. And release the foot. Well done, everyone. So here we come into two options. A little handstand going upside down. So take yourself against the wall and take yourself upside down into a handstand. Alternatively, coming into a standing split. Standing split, so you're going to stand in the right leg. So start to fold yourself down forwards. Place both hands onto the earth and start to lift the left leg up towards the sky. And grabbing hold of the right ankle. So that's your standing split on the left side. Bend into the standing knee, bring the knee towards the chest, and then see if you can fold your body down a little bit more over the standing leg. So hold it there for five breaths, and then switch sides. I'm going to come into my hand stand against the wall. If you're taking a handstand, please make sure the wall is clear of any obstructions and that you're not going to kick any furniture. Come only into the handstand if you are confident in your handstand. So be safe. Switch sides if you are in your <coughs> standing split. Go over onto the other leg, lifting the other foot to the sky. If you're in your handstand, squeeze and lift into the belly, into Mula Bandha, Udiyana Bandha. Deep breaths. And everybody coming down. Down to the floor, into child's pose. Well done, everyone. Those were all of our super strong, a little bit challenging, maybe wobbly at times, standing balances. Taking two more breaths here. And then coming to lay on your, on your tummy. So laying on your tummies, reaching the arms back, palms facing up, which is going to take a little locust pose. So keeping yourself so that you're looking, keep your head um, long, neck long, so you're looking down to your mat. Take a nice big breath in. You're going to lift the legs, squeeze the legs together, then lift the arms up. Keep the arms alongside the body. Five, four, three, two, one. Then rest down onto the forehead. I'm going to do that two more times. Big breath in. Squeeze and lift. Shoulder blades together. Keep looking down to the floor. Lift the legs and lower down. One more of those. Big breath in. Squeeze and lift the shoulder blades together. Your arms alongside the body. Keep looking down. Lift the legs a bit more. And exhale. Bring the hands alongside the chest. 
Then we're going to lift the body up. From here, going to bend into the knees. It's like you're trying to draw your feet towards your head. So you can bend into the elbows, looking up. Five, four, three, bring those heels in towards the buttocks, two, one, release down. Now you can do that with a strap, but we won't do that today because it takes quite a while to get into it. Coming down onto your bottoms, bringing the left foot across, the right and the right foot across the left leg. Taking a twist. So you're wrapping your left arm across the right leg and then bringing your right arm behind you to bind towards the left thigh or left hip. Grow the spine tall and look over your right shoulder. Two more breaths and release. Taking the right leg in now, left leg across the right thigh, wrapping the right arm across the left um, upper thigh, twist to the left, bringing the left hand round, winding round behind back towards the right hip. Open the chest, really twist. Just enjoy that. This counter poses, just unraveling any tension that we've created whilst doing our other asanas. So this is like the stretch session after the sprint. Big breath in, release, and then coming into Gomukhasana. So bringing your legs one on top of the other, heels come in and the knees stack. Now if you want, you can pop your bottoms onto a block. So if that feels better for you, then take that option. It's, it means it takes a little bit less out into the hip, um, or the stretch into the hips. So just see how you feel. Taking the right arm up to the sky, Bring that down between the shoulder blades and the left hand reaches up towards it. Now, if you can't reach, grab your strap to join the hands that way. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, folding forwards, hinging from the hip creases over the legs. Feel that lovely stretch into the shoulders and into the hips. Keep belly engaged. Checking in with that ujjayi sounding breath. Maybe closing the eyes, keeping the focus and attention inwards. Just enjoy these stretches. Two more breaths. Big breath in. Release the arms, give your shoulders a little shake out. And switching the legs round. Lifting the left hand up, down between the shoulder blades, reaching up with the right. You might find one side is easier to reach than the other. My knees don't stack as well in this direction, in this particular bind of the legs. I obviously have a um, difference in my hips. That's completely normal as well. We are asymmetrical. Big breath in and exhale, folding over the legs. So just noticing any differences and working with them. Two more breaths. Big breath in. Sitting up, release the arms. Just take a little straddle legs, just for five breaths. So straddle the legs, reach the arms forward, arms facing up. So just giving yourself a lovely stretch into inner thighs, softness in the shoulders and the head. So just let the head hang heavy. Don't hold any tension. Flex the feet towards you just to activate the thighs, just to release into the hamstrings a little bit more. Two more breaths. Now 
And then bringing the legs together, taking a little forward fold. First, sitting up nice and tall, hands next to the, the buttocks. Then reaching up overhead into Paschimottanasana. So reach forwards towards me, really reach, 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 stretch, stretch, stretch before you clasp hold of the underside of the feet, the outside of the feet, the big toes or ankles, all hooking the strap around. Now, if you have long arms or stretchy hamstrings, take your block to reach beyond the feet. So take a little lift and lengthen on a breath in. And then folding forwards, we really want to hinge from those hip creases, not rounding, rounding over with the spine curved. So keeping the spine as long and straight as possible. So the belly lands on the thighs first, then the chest. And then the head will land last onto the shins. Let's hold it here for five breaths. Two more. Really enjoy this lovely deep stretch forwards. And release the feet, release the block strap, whatever you had hold of. And coming into Halasana. So we're just gonna stretch the back a little bit now. And then we are done. So rolling down carefully onto the back. Use your hands behind the knees for support. Taking the hands to the floor, palms facing down. Roll your legs up to the sky, point and flex the feet, squeeze into the belly. Engage the thighs, engage the core. And then tilting, pushing into the hands to tilt the pelvis off the floor, lift the hips off the floor. And then reaching the, the legs <clears throat> overhead into Halasana. So toes touch down, flex the feet towards you. Lift the thighs away, so squeeze into the thighs. Push into the, the, the backs of the arms. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Do not turn your head from side to side. Keep looking up. And then rolling back down into Matsyasa. So take your hands together, palms facing down, and then bringing the legs down with control. As the legs come down to touch, elbows tuck together, push into the elbows, lift the chest up, open the chest, and drop the crown of the head back down to the earth. Deep belly breaths. So squeezing the legs towards each other, point the toes. Feel the heart center open. If you want to take your turn of Adasana, take the hands from underneath. If you're comfortable on the top of the head, palms together. So reaching prayer hands up to the sky. And then bringing the legs 45 degree angle to the earth. Just take a couple of breaths here. Nice, strong, steady breaths. Slowly release the legs down, bring the elbows back down. If you've lifted them, push into the elbows. To lift the head, look to the feet, take the arms wide, bring the knees in, heels in towards the buttocks, taking a twist to the left and the right. Rolling the head as you do so, opposite direction. So we're just window wiping the legs and rolling into the head. And from here, taking Sukta Baddha Konasana. Bring the feet together, soles of the feet together, open the knees. If this doesn't feel good for you, bring the feet hip distance apart and drop the knees in towards each other. Or extend the legs long, your choice. If you're in Supta Baddha Konasana or Shavasana or with the knees bent, take your right hand to your belly and your left hand to your heart center. Coming back to that pranayama that we started with. Just noticing the flow of the breath now. Without forcing, without controlling. Just come back to the anchor, the anchor of the breath. Just keeping the mind quiet. As we focus purely and simply on our breathing. 
Just relaxing the body just for a few moments. So just for now, we have nothing to do but just observe. Observing with compassion, with kindness, with self-care and love. So just making sure the face is relaxed and softened, the jaw is unclenched, and the tongue is resting heavy in the roof of the mouth. Resting the eyes heavy in their sockets, just actively releasing any tension anywhere in the body, sending the breath there to dissolve that tension in some way. We have to consciously release tension because we don't even know we're holding on. Like you think, oh, my shoulders relax, and then relax into the shoulders, you realize you were tensing up. So just notice the sensation under your hands, the gentle rise and fall of the belly, the beating of the heart underneath your left hand. Gentle rise and fall of the rib cage. Just staying here for another few moments. And maybe just taking this opportunity to just remind yourself of your intention. Slowly releasing your hands from your chest and belly, bringing your legs back together, extending the legs along. Reaching the arms overhead, reaching and stretching the left side, so reaching the left hand and the left toes away, nice and long, and then over to the right side, so just stretching, alternating, left side, right side. <clears throat> <clears throat> and then hugging the knees into your chest. Give yourself a well-deserved hug. Give you a little rock and roll side to side. Draw your nose up to your knees. And create a lovely tight ball with the body. And then carefully rolling over onto your right side. Keep into that ball shape. And then using your left hand, press your left hand onto the floor. And then pushing yourself back up to seated. <clears throat> Keeping a gaze low with the eyes closed. Coming to sit in cross-legged Sukhasana, just easy pose. Good sitting tall, so growing the spine nice and straight. Bring your hands to your heart centre. We will close our practice with a single arm. Take a nice deep breath in. Um, the light in you honors the light in you. Have a wonderful Wednesday. Take care, look after yourselves, be kind. Use kind language towards yourself and others. Just bowing your head down to your heart center. With the greatest love and respect. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Namaste. Thank you everyone for all your practice, for your energy, for your good vibrations. Have a wonderful Wednesday. And I'll see you soon, maybe tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, everybody. Well done.